very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this midweek analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking so let's check out what happened in the market during this week so far as I mentioned in the last uh, weekly analysis video uh, the euro USD was supposed to be good to start sell on this previous support here and I expected for the market to continue falling down however uh, I mentioned also that you can expect for the euro USD to go against your direction until it hit this previous resistance right here and I would stick to my word I will go back, back now to the daily candles and we can see that right now euro USD is ranging on a very strong resistance now you have to expect for the euro USD to actually rise a little bit more after seeing this uh, strong engulfing candle this bullish engulfing candle we can expect for the euro USD to rise a little bit more up until it hit this resistance level on let me just write it for you uh, 1.1168 uh, that would actually be the best level at all to start selling the euro USD however it's very important to mention this uh, today uh, Wednesday 11th uh, December we are having some good or high impact news on the USD these news coming uh, 5.30 p.m. Dubai time and also 11 p.m. Dubai time the FOMC news and the co uh, sorry the CPI uh, news are coming on the USD today these might change the whole signal so you better be careful pay attention to this news uh, you need to translate it or sorry to uh, change uh, the timing based on your country just go here open Forex factory uh, go to the timer right here at the top to the right click on it and change the time zone to your country which you are living in and it's really important guys so if you have any sell orders opened for the USD please be careful uh, it might actually affect the trade or actually it will, it will affect the market uh, today so we have to wait and see what will gonna happen how it will affect the market but all in all uh, uh, from technical view euro USD is good to start shorting right on this level but still we have to be very careful for the news these news 100% will affect the currency it all depends on the announced uh, uh, results let's check now the pound USD the pound USD is still uh, good to sell as I mentioned I believe I mentioned it is good to start selling um, right on this level of the resistance like that yeah my eyes was looking here by the way I was looking at this resistance all right so let's see your uh, pound USD is still good to start sell we can see the attempt to break out from this resistance trend line however we can see that it took more than four candles to to attempt to break from this resistance and then just in two candles only the market continued to fall down meaning the 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 sellers are now controlling the market most likely what will gonna happen today for the pound USD it might actually reverse on this support level this support level here it might reverse on it retest this uh, resistance level and then continue to fall more down I believe it's gonna fall down to retest this broken uh, this broken, uh, broken trend line resistance and then it's gonna be good to start buying right on this level however pound USD is still good to uh, to short uh, the signal is still remaining uh, good for this week let's take a look at the AUD USD so AUD USD I believe the signal was uh, to wait for the pair to reach this resistance level and then we can start shorting it and it will fall however uh, it seems like the, the AUD USD has immediately started to fall down so what is the next move right now AUD USD is ranging on this support level so I'm thinking today uh, we can see a reversal oh this is daily candle let's go to the 4 hour chart and let's see if I'm here so we can see that we have here a support level and this support seems like it's gonna hold its position as a support right here and therefore we can expect for the AUD USD to actually reverse a little bit more up hitting this previous resistance level right here like that and then from there it's gonna continue to fall more down now again I have to mention all these signals I'm, I'm talking about today the AUD USD, USD CAD, Pound USD, Euro USD, all of the news, all of them, all of the pairs will be actually 
uh, if be affected by this news coming today for the USD. What I'm talking about here in this video is only from technical view. We have to wait and see what will gonna happen until this news gonna uh, impact the market. So again, uh, the AUD USD seems like it's gonna uh, bounce on this support level, and then it's gonna reverse uh, right on this resistance. Let me just uh, be sure like that yes so this is for today hopefully this is gonna happen before the news gonna hit the pair we can exp we can get about like 23 pips uh, of profit let's check uh, the usd gpy so usd gpy uh, if i'm not mistaken it was a signal to wait for the buy here and then we can expect for the bounce and sell again right here however USD GPY is still bouncing on the same level it didn't move that much we can see that it is still ranging on this resistance level uh, all in all USD GPY is actually good to start shorting right now because we can see even the trend line here it seems like it's reversing like that so all in all USD GPY seems to be good uh, for sell today and I'm I'm still thinking that the, the, the USD GPY will continue falling all the way until it hit this previous support retesting this level before it's bounce and continue flying more up so you can you can start actually short uh, the USD, uh, USD GPY right away however again please this is the th third time please pay attention to the USD news coming today now let's take a look at the USD CAD. Uh, the USD CAD, I mentioned it is good to start shorting immediately, and thankfully that is exactly what happened so far. We can see the reversal happened here last uh, two days. Last uh, yes, two days. Uh, the the pair is actually uh, seems to be like falling, and I believe it's going to continue its fall. We can see here that we had. Oh shit! Uh, let me just throw it again. I think it was like that. So we can see that right now the USD CAD is ranging on this previous support here right here on this level and it was also a resistance right here and right here so it uh, seems like the USD CAD is just making the pullback uh, it seems like it's gonna continue its uh, fall we have to expect something here uh, this resistance level here which kept its position as a resistance uh, seems like we are going to have a next attempt because here we have a resistance number one and from this price action here we can see that there is a rejection and seems like the pair will actually uh, go a little bit more up retesting this uh, level of the resistance create a resistance number two and from there it's gonna be good to start shorting again so all in all we can uh, expect for the USD cat to reverse right on this previous uh, resistance because the, if, we, if we do some more analysis we can see right now that we are on a support level so this support here which was also a support here is keep its position as a support as well and we can see from this uh, strong bullish candle here uh, that the market might actually go a little bit more up again hitting this level of the resistance and from there we can start sell the USD CAD uh, and again <laughs> keep your eyes open to the FOMC news on the USD today uh, let's take a look at the USD, USD CHF. Uh, USD CHF, I mentioned that it should be good to start sell once it hit this previous resistance. However, the pair did not go up to hit this level and it just continued to fall more down. Uh, I think this uh, news, there is some news about uh, uh, the impeachment of Mr. Trump. I believe it is one of the reasons why the USD is falling like this immediately this week. So let's check what will gonna happen um this week so far you can see you know usd cfs usd chf is really my favorite pair i really love to analyze it a lot mm -hmm. uh, i'm trying to see anything at all in the usd <laughs> it's just it's just not good to trade at all that is one bad pair to trade actually uh let me just see like that so we can expect since we had here resistance let me just take a look at the left and all right uh i saw this resistance right here and this resistance as well and this one here 
So we can expect for the USDCHF uh, after uh, after the breakout from this support level right here. Oh, the line is gone. Uh, I will pause the, the video for a second. Hold on. Okay, so it's like that. Uh, the USDCHF seems like it has broken out from this previous support right here on this level and right here. Uh, seems like it's reversing on this previous support here and it's gonna retest this level. So in my opinion, USDCHF should be star uh, should be still good to start shorting uh, right after the retest of this uh, previous support right here. Uh, we can expect for it to go up to, to this level and then we can continue the shorting for the USDCHF. Uh, all in all, I think uh, the bearish momentum is stronger than the bullish. Uh, therefore, we can look for a sell order after the retest of this uh, previous support. Please be, pay attention also to the price action. Uh, if you see the price action, if you, think, if you see any breakout candle completely closed like that, uh, above this resistance, uh, this previous support level, you have to close the trade with the loss, sadly, because uh, we are also having here a previous support, as I told you before, here, right here. So the pair is really actually a little bit confusing to trade right now, uh, because here, this is for our chart, we have here a support level, and here as well we have the support, therefore we can look for, what we can expect for the UCCHF is just the bouncing on this level, just the pullback, and then it should actually continue uh, its uh, bearish momentum. Let's look at the gold finally. Now the gold I mentioned it is good to start the buying right on this level 1457. However, uh, the line I draw here and the reversal happened just right here. So uh, it was really, uh, it was good signal. However, uh, the trigger area itself has not been hidden. So therefore we cannot uh, take any credit for it. So let's see what will can happen now to the gold. Um, let me just uh, take a look at the daily candles. I believe this support level on the gold is still holding its position and we can see the price action. Uh, there is several price actions indicating bullish reversal. This one here and right here, uh, they are indicating a rejection and breaking from this support level. So we can look for a continuation in the bullish momentum here. So going to the 4-hour chart, let's see where is the best level to start uh, or to continue the buy order for the gold. In my opinion, let me just be accurate as much as possible, please, my friends. Just like that. Just like that. So we can expect for the gold after this price action here, it might make a small pullback here hitting this previous support level right here and right here and right here most importantly and from here it's gonna be good to start sh buying again 1460 we can buy the gold again and hopefully it should c continue its uh, momentum all the way until it hit this previous resistance uh, for the fourth time I have to mention please pay attention to this to this news whatever uh, open positions you have in the market you have to be careful close them all before this news then after this after the news come you can actually continue your trading um, it's not 100% sure gonna make any impact on the market I, again it's all based on the outcome what will be the announced uh, numbers these will be actually what affect the market the news itself not affecting the 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 outcome numbers that is the announced numbers they are the ones actually making the big impact on the market so maybe we will not see any impact on the market at all but even though we have to pay attention and be careful for the usd today so again i really hope this will be very profitable and good week for everyone uh, and i would uh, in the end uh, i hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.